Eh. <laughs> what up? How's everybody doing? You know, hope your day's going pretty, pretty fleg. Can't complain about the day. May or may not be getting a new camera right as I get back to California. Got a jug of strawberry lemonade for the Bev today. Got the Bev reception back. Yeah, yeah. But honestly, today the topic I kind of wanted to talk about was delayed gratification, or is delayed gratification, because I'm not very patient with things. I'm not very patient with things at all, in fact, especially when it comes to cameras. So what did I do? I ordered the camera when I was in North Carolina, and I was like, oh, next day shipping, it'll work out fine. Hit them up the next day, and they're like, oh shit, my bad, bro. Your card didn't go through because the billing address didn't match the real address, so they didn't know if it was a real transaction. And then I was like, god fucking damn it. And I was so upset because I couldn't get the camera that next day. And I had to wait. Now I've waited, what, four days for the refund to hit my account? But since the refund hit my account, I was like, hmm, let me check Facebook Marketplace right now. And there's a dude literally getting rid of one for a little under retail price because it's slightly used but doesn't make a difference with the camera at all for pretty much like a couple hundred dollars less than what I would have paid brand new. And it's still brand new. And he's in exactly, like, I mean exactly where I live in California. Like, we're in the same vicinity. He already has the cage for it. So I was like, all right, you know what? It was meant to be, and I'm glad it worked out in this way, but sometimes you just have to understand that waiting a little bit will genuinely make the experience of everything, if not better, easier, or just more thorough. Sometimes you have to wait for things. Sometimes you genuinely just have to sit there and be in a predicament for a little bit and just appreciate the time that passes and just hold off for a second because if your mind is telling you something it's telling you for it for a reason so listen to it delayed gratification is something that's so important in today's society just because we don't really gratify it anymore we genuinely don't utilize the benefactor of it in any way shape or form anymore everything is an instant because of fucking social media and scrolling and going going on fucking TikTok, going on reels all of that shit is purely instant gratification and all it does is literally fucks our dopamine receptors to points of like it makes us not appreciate things anymore because it's not there in an instant and in real life things don't come like that things don't come like TikToks. things don't come like scrolling through reels and hitting that dopamine rush in your mind that's not reality that is something a conception that we've built up over the past three to four years on social media just because that's how every all our content has been like conformed to being so just remember that sometimes you do have to wait for things sometimes it's better to wait for things honestly most times it genuinely is a whole lot me more meaningful when you're actually putting effort into appreciating the moment not having things for a certain amount of times and then growing the appreciation as you wait for it because that's the beauty of it it's like being a kid and waiting every fucking year for christmas you know how good that feeling was because it didn't come every single fucking second it came once a year so appreciate things for what they are and stop rushing stop rushing through your life expecting things to come instantly just enjoy the process and be here in this moment because it's so special and it's so important to just do so. Instant gratification is not always a viable option for us. So stop expecting everything to be instant. It's just like me shooting film. The main reason I shoot film and I love it so much, it's because I have to wait for the, the development. I have to wait for the scans. I have to wait for me to wanna pay fucking too much money for film. <laughs> but it makes me happy because it slows down my process. So if you take anything out of this video, slow the fuck down stop rushing enjoy the process be thorough and make the most out of every scenario you get most of the time it's not going to come instantly so just be in it for the long haul because i promise you the process is going to make so much more sense when you just put yourself into it so just appreciate it for what it is yeah i miss making videos on the daily and it's making me really happy 
to start doing that again, and I'm for sure gonna start filming more cinematic stuff. And I'll have two, I'll have two cameras too. So that'll be super sick to be able to get multiple perspectives of me yapping, and just have like a more thorough setup. And I won't, I can probably see it with this camera now. I can't really film over 30 minutes at a time. That's fucking frustrating to me because it's like if I want to film like a podcast or something, I literally can't. But it's okay, because guess what? It all led me to this moment, and now I'm going to be past these little things, and the quality is going to get better. So, thank you so much for being here. Any ideas you may have, anything you want to hear me talk about, please drop it in the comments. I'd be willing to help you guys out in any way I can if you guys are going through anything. I will respond as thorough as I can, but my camera is dying right now. And I just want to end this video off on a thank you guys so much. Much love, and we'll talk soon.